today on Talking Tottenham. The question today is, is Gareth Bale going to join Tottenham yet again? Those same transfer rumours happening every single transfer window, literally since Gareth Bale has left us. And today discussing that, I have got Mark from the Spurs Express. How are we, Mark? Yeah, good, thank you. And how are you feeling about these Gareth Bale rumours yet again? Are you getting bored of them uh, yet? Well, you know, it's a really interesting one because, you know, every, every year since, you know, Bale left, um, these rumours have come up. Um, a lot of the time with, you know, zero credibility to them. Um, but sometimes, to be honest, there's been a, li- there's been, there's been a bit of legs into it. Um, there's a little bit into it which has made it interesting in, in previous times. Um, and just going, you know, really, you know, not really deep into the situation, I think kind of the issue with, with Gareth Bale is in an ideal world, Daniel Levy would love to bring Gareth Bale back to Spurs. Um, a, a lot of people direct, you know, different things towards Daniel Levy, sometimes abuse, criticism, whatever it is. But when it comes to um, Gareth Bale and those rumours, um, the thing about Daniel Levy is he's quite an obsessive person um, in terms of how he deals with certain things. And, and you look at Jose or Jose Mourinho, should I say, um, and 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 you look at that as a prime example. Daniel Levy was obsessed with having Jose Mourinho um, as the manager um, since about 2007. Um, since Jose was sacked first time by Chelsea, Daniel Levy's had this vision of Jose Mourinho managing Spurs. And, you know, it's been 13 years later, 14 years later, but it's happened. Um, and that's because Daniel Levy had this vision and he... And, he saw the chance to execute it and he's got his wish. Now, whether that works out for Spurs or not is, is, is one thing, but it's what he wanted. Um, and it's a similar situation with Gareth Bale. Um, yes, there's a lot of financial um, obstacles there for sure. Um, and that probably makes me think that something isn't going to happen. Um, the, the finances involved and what the player would want are too high than what Spurs would pay. Um, but make no mistake that if the finances weren't the obstacle, um, Daniel Levy would push really hard to get Gareth Bale back at the club. So it will be an intriguing summer for the player because, um, you know, you look at his situation at Madrid, it doesn't look good. Um, obviously, with the pandemic, there's all sorts of economical factors involving clubs and what they can spend and, you know, who they can sign and what they can sell players at. Um, and it's going to be a really interesting situation. I'm intrigued to see what happens to Gareth Bale. Uh, there's been a lot of rumours over the past couple of days. One of them being, I'm not sure how credible it is, maybe you can tell me, but one of them is that they might be looking to offload Gareth Bell, terminate his contract uh, at the end of this season. Um, and there's also a lot of rumours flying about that Tottenham are going to be very interested in loan deals uh, this summer. First of all, is there any credibility towards that uh, Gareth Bell contract being termita- terminated? And second of all, do you reckon Gareth Bell could be an option for a loan deal? Um, in terms of the, the termination, I haven't heard that. I think uh, personally, I haven't actually, that's the first time I've heard of it. What, what I do know is, um, you know, from what, I've, what I understand, Real Madrid regret not offloading him to China when they had the chance. Yeah. Um, they had a chance for him to go to China. Um, originally, there wasn't going to be any fee involved, but they were going to take um, they were going to take his wages, which are very high, off their wage bill. Um, and the deal was all set. And um, Real Madrid changed their mind at the last minute because they wanted to get a fee for him. Um, and that, uh, that scuppered the whole deal. So, and especially in this, you know, e- economic environment, I don't see clubs spending big money or a lot, um, you know, money at all to bring Gareth Bale to their club because of the wage demands that he comes with. Um, so Gareth Bale on a loan deal makes a lot of sense. Um, a termination, I'd be surprised. I'd be very surprised. Um, but at the same time, yeah, I, that Real Madrid are desperate. I mean, I'd say Real Madrid. I mean, you know, Zinedine Zidane is desperate to offload Gareth Bale. And I think the club just want the saga over with. Um, so a loan deal is possible, whether that's Spurs that, that take up that option is one thing, because like I said, the player's going to come with big wages. He's, he's on a very nice contract to Real Madrid, and he's not going to want to sacrifice a lot of that, to, uh, you know, as 
as nostalgic as it might be for Spurs fans, he's not going to want to sacrifice uh, a big chunk of his wage to come back to the club. Um, so it, it really will depend who wants to pay the, wa- the wages that he will want uh, in terms of his contract currently at Real Madrid. Who's going to want to match that, go close to it even? Uh, and that will be a big deciding point of where he may end up. Uh, but when you actually look at it, he hasn't played much football over the past year or two. He really hasn't. Fallen out of favour at Real Madrid big time. Can you see any club apart from, you know, these crazy clubs out? I know China, they've got a wage cap, don't they, at the moment? Yeah. Um, can you see any club matching his wage, his wage packet that he gets at Real Madrid? It's, it's an interesting one. Maybe not matching it, especially not in this climate. Um, especially not now. But going, uh, you know, get, get going closer than Spurs, yes. Um, so that's going to be an interesting one. Can I see clubs deciding to take a punt on Gareth Bale and, and for, or a loan deal and, or just have to pay his wages, for example? Um, definitely. Could I see those clubs maybe offering a higher bracket than Spurs would be willing to? Probably, yes. And I think that's kind of the, the, the situation we're really looking at. As always, it comes down to financials. The, the one thing that makes, that makes me just intrigued is, is just Daniel Levy in this situation. You know, he, it's, it's, like I've said, it's a player he would want to bring back in an ideal situation, an ideal world. So it'd be interesting if he lets this go. If an opportunity does arise, does he take it? I don't, I don't know. And I think the pandemic complicates that issue further for the club. Like I bring up the point before, he hasn't played much football um, so is it actually worth bringing him in? Like, let's say, for argument's sake, we are going to pay that wager, the wages that he's on. I know it's not possible, but uh, let's say for argument's sake he is. Would you still take him back, though? Yeah, yeah, you would. If you look at the, you look at the, kind of the, the players that Spurs could get and bring in, um, and no disrespect to the players we're linked with, um, they're good players for a good price, and that's why Spurs are being linked with them. They're not the best players in the world for, for, for huge fees. That's not where we're going to be. We're going to be signing good players for a good price. And I think if you look at the strikers and the forward players that are, are in those brackets, um, Gareth Bale's better than, you know, you know say, a, a Milik from, you, you know, from Napoli, um, one name that we've been linked with. Um, different, of course, different, but you would prefer Gareth Bale at your club. So, you know, there, in terms of, it, would Gareth Bale be able to add something? Definitely. Um, I definitely think he would be a step up to the, the type of players Spurs will, will look to sign this summer. Is he as good as he once was? No. Um, have injuries, you know, played a part in, in kind of his regression as such? Yes. Um, lack of game time, all those things. But is he still a very good footballer? Yes. Would he still, you know, be, be a really useful addition to the Spurs squad? Yes. But, you know, once your head is not in the game, things can change very quickly. Things can spiral out of control very quickly. And we've seen the kind of piss-taking he's done on the sidelines for Real Madrid with the whole banner he did when he was playing for Wales. You know, uh, what was it? Golf, Wales, golf and Real Madrid in that order. Um, is that kind of... Is, maybe he's just not the same character as when he left Tottenham and maybe he just, it just wouldn't work anymore. Do you think yeah. it, it's an interesting one? Yeah, it is. I mean, I think we have to, I think, you know, as much as we want every, you know, wanted to take the innocence from football, you have to look at it as a money game. And, and Gareth Bale has, has won everything he needs to win in a footballing sense. OK, maybe not with Wales, but I don't think that will happen with all due respect to Wales. But in terms of club football, he's won everything he can win. Um, and footballers need to be selfish. And, you know, it's about what's best for him and his family and um, the life in Madrid, the money. Um, it's about all of that. And yes, maybe the desire and hunger isn't there. That's, that's very true. I, don't, I think if it was, um, we would have seen him, if it was to the same extent, I think we would have seen him leave by now. But he's going with the stance and we may not like it, but we have to understand, I'll leave on my terms. Um, so it's an interesting one between, oh, is the hunger there or is he just, you know, looking to, you know, get the best deal for himself? And if, if a club comes in, offers him, you know, similar terms and he still decides no I want to sit on the bench at Real Madrid then you can start that argument I think we've seen from the China thing um you know there's a bit of both you know the Chinese you know in China he was being offered um big money and he was going to play a bit more so you know I think that to me was is kind of a signal that 
it's you know the money is going to play a huge factor and and maybe the football will come second yeah exactly and that and if you're doing that at Tottenham that's that's not a reason you come to Tottenham putting money first and footballing second because if you're going to come to Tottenham surely the football has to come first and Daniel Levy will be thinking that but then on the flip side like you said Daniel Levy has these obsessions and always carries them out way too late then they actually uh, need to be done I think Fernando Lorente was one of them he was linked with us about 10 years before uh, before we signed him so yeah until he became cheap and then we then we signed him once, exactly. he became, once he became too good a, a, an offer for us to pass up, we decided to, to go for it. And that might be the same for Gareth Bale too. So, you know, a, a, loan, a loan move, uh, do I think it's going to happen? No. Do I think it's completely crazy if, if, if the story resurfaces again? No, uh, for different reasons. One, because the press will always link Gareth Bale with the move to the Spurs. Two, like I've said, the club, the club would love to bring him back. So it's... it's you know, it, it will be interesting to see the developments. Yeah.